Hey mathematicians, let's talk about equivalent fractions. You probably noticed that big word there, equivalent. Well, I can kind of see that the base word there might be equal. It has that sound to it. And that's what we're talking about. Fractions that are equal to each other. You can see I've got some examples here. I've got a whole pizza equal sign is the same as two halves of a pizza is the same as four quarters of a pizza. These are all equivalent. One whole is the same as two halves is the same as four quarters. These are all equal and they are examples of equivalent fractions. Let's talk about a few more examples. Get them out of the way. All right. So we've got our bar here. We know that one whole is the same as two halves. Well, that's equivalent, isn't it? That's equal. One and the two halves are the same. Let's talk about some other things that are the same. I could bring in here two quarters and you can see that it's the same as my one half. My one half is the same as my two quarters. I could bring in as well my four eighths and you can see that they are all the same even though they are different fractions. One half, two quarters, four eighths. But they're all equaling the same. Okay, what about some examples, some more pizza examples let's talk about. Here's one third. Here's two sixths. And here, in lots of little pieces, what do you think might be equivalent, equal to one third or two sixths? It's one, two, three, four twelfths. One third, two sixths, four twelfths. They're two different examples, but they show the same thing about how different fractions with different denominators could be equal. They could be equivalent and equal the same thing. What I'm noticing here, as we've got one half, two quarters and four eighths, is that, well, if I didn't know what they were, I could think about what are some equivalent fractions to four eighths by doing a little bit of maths. Sometimes we like to get our fraction down to the simplest form that it can go. Four eighths is a, eh, it's a bit tricky, but one half way more simple. So how could we simplify four eighths down to one half if we didn't have this here to show us that it's the same? Well, I can see that four is half of eight, two fours make eight. So that's pretty clear to me showing that four is half of eight so it must be one half but I'll tell you what else I could do what if I halved four divide by two to half four that would give me two and then if I halved eight as well that would give me four. So I've done the same thing to the top and the bottom and you can see that, well, my four eighths, I can tell that it's the same as two quarters. And does that match up with the bars that we have? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Okay, what about now this last little bit? We could do the same thing. We could go from two quarters half two half four and what does that give us? Half of two is one, half of four is two. And you can see how we've gone and shown that four eighths is the same as one half. 